I wonder what Serval's up to right now. Come around and have a look!
your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Landau. Years of cold pardons the will. We shall never fall! Caught them unaware. This song's just for you. Keep up my tempo. Perfect. Now's my chance. Forget your wallet. Yeah. Never too early! For a happy new year! I hope you're prepared. Let's rock! Target's time for something savory. Here we go! Fame and fortune!
seize the initiative. Here to crash the party. Keep up. My tempo! Target specimen sighted. Preparing Fight to Fight or rock with it. My music. Hunger is all! I hope you're prepared. In the name of Landau, years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall! Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume! You will know justice. <laughs> Come in, excuse me. Coming through. I hope you're prepared. <laughs> this song, keep up. My tempo. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Target specimen. Places mean busier business. You're here. Come on, let's gossip.
struck gold! Never forgive! Here to crash the party? Fair enough? Good ball, you! Forget you up! It'll heal! In the name of Landau! Years of cold! Pardons the will! We shall never fall! I hope you're prepared. Judgment is here! Retribution! Is that all? This song's just for you. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! You will know justice. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! Well then, with them! This song, turn up the volume. The die is cast. <clears throat> the redemption. In the name of Landau, years of cold, pardons the will. We shall never fall. Prayers won't help you. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Ha! Uh. Execute the judgment! <laughs> Turn out your pockets! Baby! Fortune! Commencing time for something 
savory. You have my gratitude. Come feast your eye! It's never too early! For a happy new year! Pretty good crap. Let's rock! In the name of Landau, years of cold, pardons the will. We shall never fall! Here to crash the party? Keep up! My tempo! Forget your wallet! I hope you're prepared. with it. My music conquers all! Shall never fall. <laughs> Commencing. Turn out to. Hillary, of time. Come feast your eye. It's never too early. For a happy new year. This song's just for you to keep up. My tempo! You will know justice. Forget your walk. Yeah. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. Perfect. Now's my chance. Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all! 
Turn out your baby! I hope you're prepared.
Ah, you're back. Fizzier places mean fizzier business.
Ah, you're back. Busier places mean busier business. Mm, what's next on the agenda?
busier places mean busier business. Come around and have a look. <laughs> Please, I'm busy. Come around and have a look. goes. Make an appointment and take a number.
busier places mean busier business. Uh, I kinda want a milk tea. Let's go get one after training! the activity of the Fragmentum has reached the lowest level and the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly and will be leaving Yurillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. Huh. Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> Five people, three must pay a price. You are one of them. Hold on. I I'll, I'll be there soon. What did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway, no point wasting our time in the corridor. The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location, apparently. And we can't be late. Let's head over. Oh, by the way. You drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. Morning. You're very punctual. Oh, I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. The trailblazing of Eurelo 6 is drawn to a close, and the Astral Express must depart for the next planet. Not telling yet. We'll make an official announcement in the meeting, but I'm keeping you in suspense for now. The meeting will start soon. The work navigation meeting has officially begun! Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the Nameless, for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? It's time for your conductor... <clears throat> that's me to reveal the name of our next stop. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. It's Kafka. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Apologies for interrupting your little get-together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a... destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. 
even if it was only on a corporation wanted poster. They were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? Doesn't concern me. Then again, a corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you... Astral Expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron Hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. Have you guys heard of the Law Foo? The Sienjo Lawfu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Sienjo Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lawfu. An unexpected calamity. Don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron Sealing Super Specialists! You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Law Fu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he'd perish too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March, get done hung. doing here hmm. I gave him the lowdown 
Hey, remember what I said, okay? We're gonna vote against it. I'm not gonna take orders from that woman. Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron Hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth, but we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two, one. Four against one. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. Calm down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. So, Don Hung, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. In that case... Welt, ready for a trailblazing expedition? I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now, but make sure you take good care of the two of them. <laughs> Don't worry. Destination Sienjo, here we come! train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Whoa! So that's a Sienjo ship? It looks even bigger than your Relo 6! For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. You okay there? What's with all the lonely nostalgia vibes? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Sienjo territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lofu Skyport. Starskip Ven. Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. <sighs> now you know how I feel when you copy me. <sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe the Stellaron Hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how 
like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Still the automated signal? Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Sianjo La Fu, welcome, guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. We should get going. Imiko, stay vigilant back here on the Express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. <laughs> yes, but I won't be putting my feet up. There's a lot to take care of here on the train. Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to consider, and a lot to doubt. But the most important part of this expedition is... Precisely. The Stellaron Hunters clearly have ulterior motives. However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. But as trailblazers, we're not in this for fame or gain. We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. Always keep that in mind, and don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Yeah! Let's go. containers as far as the eye can see. This area isn't for receiving guests, it's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. Huh. Ah, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. That's Mr. Yang! This is child's play for him. He's dealt with all kinds of dangers before. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Mr. 
Yang, someone's hurt. Up, up ahead. You're hurt, son. Uh, try not to talk. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. I'm on it. This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. Up ahead. Please. The silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... Careful. We've never seen this kind of life. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Shall never fall. Keep up, my tempo. Excuse me, coming through. Well, then, wisdom. Come feast your eyes. It's never too early. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! Miss Tingyun, the Mara struck have been repelled, but, but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission. Immediately. Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. My name is Ting Yun. I'm the Amicassador for the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. 
May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Uh, we called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You can verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun. To help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Oh, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on now, I'll lead the way. Those monsters. Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask, that's all. Favor? Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? The soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your skill, but I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself in the process. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the Trove of Verdure can be moved around using a control panel. You've already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? <laughs> I knew it! This will be a breeze for you. We just need to pass through here, take the barge to Starskiff Haven, and we'll be safe. You know, you sound sweet enough, but you were talking about- <laughs> Turn up the volume! Commencing research. <laughs>
You mentioned the Stellaron. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Just for you. <laughs> Target specimen, excuse me, coming through. <laughs> I think something bit me. Turn up the volume. I hope you're prepared. Is that all? Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. In the name of Landau, years of cold, pardon the will. We shall never fall. You will know the die is cast. Serious, huh? Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Commencing race. Time for something savory. You have my gratitude. Forget your wallet, Kim. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all! In the name of Landau, years of cold, pardons the will. We shall never fall! This song's just for you. Keep up my tempo! There come. Yeah. Come feast your eye. It's never too early for a happy new year. Uh, you stop the bleeding.
pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume! Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all! Target specimens! <laughs> Jam. The kill. Yeah. Keep up. My tempo. I hope you're prepared. <laughs> Target's the time for something savory. at all. Third <laughs> up. You will know just... Forged in ice, never falters. You can fight it or rock with it. Let's 
Legion Ice never falters! Let's rock! You can fight it, or rock with it!
enough! You can fight it, or rock with it! Will forged in ice never falters. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Keep up. You can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> Is that all? A will forged in ice never falters! Let's rock! Here, try this! You can fight it, or rock with it! A will forged in ice never falters! Happy New Year! You can fight it, or rock with it! 
Let's rock! 